The only good snake is a dead snake. This is something us hobbyists, us reptile keepers, dread to hear from someone else and something many of us talk about online in forms of memes and just sharing what we hate from outsiders who don't understand reptile keeping. Recently, Nerd put out a video somewhat focused on Jay Brewer, but more so focused on other YouTubers who aren't even reptile YouTubers that give reptiles a bad name and reptile hobbyists. They paint them in a bad light. Now, when watching this, if you've seen it, the first question that probably popped into your mind is how is this allowed on YouTube? And this led to Donnie, who composed the video, he's from Nerd, saying this. I wanna say something. YouTube does not take these videos down because, because they're either, um, because, because guys remember, reptiles are not considered pets. They're not really loved animals to most of the world. I know you guys love them, but guys, legit, they, they're not. Is this how truly people view reptiles? They don't care about them being abused, even if they're not a typical pet, just as an animal. This led me to investigate the phrase, the only good snake is a dead snake, because I really wanted to see how popular this mindset is outside of the hobby do people really know that phrase do people really say it do people really believe that reptiles aren't a pet shouldn't be a pet and deserve being abused so we're investigating that we're gonna look at a survey three mondays in a row doing some sort of research so let's get to it guys hope you're doing well let's do some research hey guys how's it going you know it's the beginning of a new year oh, completely bold. yellow aki reptile So you guys know the drill. I went to prolific.co. It's a great website to launch a study on, in this case, a study around a survey, and get participants to answer that survey. But first, I needed my credit card, as you do pay the participants. And I needed, of course, Olivia's approval. Hey, Olivia. No. Okay. With her approval well in hand, I went ahead and launched two surveys. Both of them I narrowed down to an audience of US citizens currently people who are living in the United States, I guess you don't have to be a citizen, and a high approval rate on Prolific, meaning that they get a lot of accepted answers on the platform. As for the first survey, I collected 99 responses, as someone left me on red, on five different questions. Now, there was a sixth one that asked for a prolific ID that lets me collect information on their background, you know, their gender, where they're from. So to quickly glance over that, we have the age distribution here for all of the participants in the study. It looks like overall it's trending pretty low, with the average probably being between 20 and 40. Next, we have the gender distribution. You can see primarily female, but pretty close overall. And last we have the distribution of the first language spoken by the participants, primarily English, which is good because this is about English phrases. These five questions were pretty much just phrases that the participants needed to answer or finish out. For example, we have an apple a day keeps the doctor away. This saying and the three other ones besides the only good snake is a blank act as controls and for comparison, these four are popular sayings and English culture. Then the fifth one, like I just said, the only good snake is a blank. That's the one we're trying to see how many people know how to fill out. And boy, I got a mess of answers. We have a dead one, dead one, dead snake, dead snake, period, a dead snake, dead one, dead snake, question mark. We had a lot of variety, so I consolidated that and put it into a more reformed and elegant bar graph. Yep, black and white, so we can see all five questions here. Number one is, of course, the only good snake is a dead snake or is a dead one. I guess I accept it as well. Almost 71% of the participants, guys. This is, again, about 100 participants here. That is extraordinarily high in my mind. Now, I knew these other sayings were going to get high ratings. I was actually a little odded out that number four close but no cigar got 81 which i thought these were all going to be well over 90 but for 71 percent for this the only good snake is a dead snake that's high i feel like that's really close that's in the ballpark of these other phrases here which is kind of crazy to me i did not think this was that well understood or said or talked about and it's a little scary still I hungered for more answers and nothing would stop me from getting them. Olivia, please. No. Oh, 
Again, I recruited 100 participants of people living in the United States and having a high approval rating on Prolific. I wanted to see if people just needed a refresher. Maybe they forgot the saying, but it was just on the tip of their tongue, in the back of their head, and a multiple choice question would give them some context that they could remember this saying off of. I want people who understand the context, you know, and not just have forgotten it perhaps in the moment. So I did just that. As you can see here, all five of these phrases now have multiple choice options to choose from, so people have that little bit of a refresher. Now I will say not all of these multiple choice options are equal, meaning that some of these might be harder to find the correct one of. So do account for that. In terms of results though, I still think it's interesting. Wow, we look at that guys. 99% of people answered the only good snake is a dead snake. I told you they just needed a little bit of a refresher. And look at questions four and five. Granted, their multiple choice options were definitely a little bit harder. I mean, actions speak louder than words versus then words. But still, this is crazy that people really know this phrase. But guys, even after all those great answers, I still had an answer I needed to get. And Olivia, she's asleep by this point, so I could spend the money however I want. You guys remember this survey? Yeah, the one I did on Jay Prehistoric Pets, Jay Brewer. Basically, when his short blew up on CNN, I did a video investigating whether this had a negative impact on non-reptile, non-pet keepers, and it did. But let's see what this video, the one nerd featured, primarily in their most recent video, Catch Em All Fishing, I believe is the channel. Let's see if they have a worse negative impact than the Jay Brewer video, because that's exactly what Nerd was trying to say in their most recent claim. Let's skip quickly through the survey setup. <gasps> As 50 participants without reptile keeping experience and high ratio of accepted answers on the platform prolific to take an 11 question survey, questions one through three and five asked basically the life experiences of the participant while question four asked whether they believe people should be able to keep reptiles as pets. Now here's the change. I asked people to watch a portion of the catch em all video that was heavily featured in Nerd's video this past weekend. Participants were then asked how entertaining the video was, if the content is suitable for children, how strongly they believe people should be allowed to keep reptiles after watching the video, if they were planted the snake in the video, how strongly they believe people should be allowed to keep pets after watching the video. Does this video make it more or less likely I keep a pet reptile. How does this video make you feel about reptiles? Also, the question, do you think the video showed responsible reptile keeping is removed because this is not about reptile keeping. Now onto the juicy stuff, the results. You guys remember this graph? This is from the J Prehistoric Pets video that I mentioned earlier, showing pre and post video, the mean of how strongly participants believe people should be allowed to keep reptiles as pets. You can see there is a drop, almost a full point drop, but how does that compare now to this other video from Catch Em All Fishing. Well, you can see the pre-video average is roughly the same, but the post video is over a full point more of a drop. Better yet for the new question of if this snake was planted, how strongly do you believe people should be allowed to keep reptiles as pets after watching this video? The drop is even more significant. It's at 2.76 now. Do remember, this snake being planted is a claim that Nerd made, so this is important to investigate. All right, all right, you guys know I need to look into the people who have no reptile life experience, never cared for one, no friends who have ever owned one, never watched a reptile YouTuber. Again, here's our reminder graph from the J Prehistoric Pets video showing the pre and post video averages from participants showing how strongly they believe people should be allowed to keep reptiles as pets. But in this case, they have zero reptile experience observation. And you can see there's much more of a significant drop than compared to the overall everyone in the survey. Well, guess what, guys? This drop is even more significant for the participants who've watched the Catch Em All fishing video instead of the J Prehistoric Pets video. Yes, the pre-video average is much lower, about over a full point lower than the one for the J Prehistoric Pets survey but still overall that pose video average that is so much less even with the drop in the pre-video average and oddly enough looking at this new question of if the snake was planted how strongly do the participants believe people should be allowed to keep reptiles as pets the pose value actually increases with people who have zero reptile experience i could maybe chalk that up to people kind of misunderstanding or thinking that's like oh okay they planted it makes sense you know it's not really like it's out there on its own you know so i don't know though that's kind of weird to me let's speed through some other interesting graphs you can see how entertaining was this video both the j and catch mall 
all video pretty much the same with Jay being a little bit more entertaining. Participants on average found the catch em all video to be a little bit more suitable for children, which I could understand based off of what Jay's video was about. More people were less likely to get a pet reptile after watching Jay's video, but overall this is pretty much a similar value. On the other hand, more people were likely to get a pet reptile after watching the catch em all video instead of Jay's video. This is a little interesting because these are the same people who voted much less that people should be allowed to keep pet reptiles, so I don't know. And finally, for the last question, how does this video make you feel about reptiles? It's pretty much the same overall. We have VS here standing for very scared, VC standing for very comfortable, S standing for scared, N standing for neutral, and C standing for comfortable. Pretty much the same like I just said. The only real difference is there's a little bit more of the scared for Jay's video than for Catch Em All, but it's pretty much on par with each other. Well, this was quite the investigation, guys. I mean, I put a lot of work into this one, so I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe and leave a comment below. Those really help out too. But I was really surprised by a lot of the outcomes. I didn't know how well known the phrase, the only good snake is a dead snake is. And honestly, I didn't really think there's gonna be that much of a difference between Jay's video and Catch em All Fishing, I think that's the channel's name, video. I didn't really think there was gonna be that much. So I'm happy I investigated this. I'm happy we got some actual evidence and I appreciate you guys sticking all the way through. Before I go, I wanna let you guys know that you could get $5 off your first purchase of Repti Links by using code Professor Herp at checkout. I use Repti Links exclusively for my tegu but you could also use them for hognose snakes blue tongue skinks and more definitely recommend them five dollars off your first purchase with code professor herp at checkout thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video